away he goes. That's a nice looking tail. Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. My name's Ed and welcome to Let's Go Fishing. G'day guys, welcome. This is a life. <laughs> I'm just laying back here, watching my rod. The beautiful scenery here. The beach all to myself. And it's a lovely afternoon. It's about four o'clock. The wind's coming from the back. We have a metre, metre 1.2 I think it is, metre swell. And I'm going to stay here till 7 o'clock tonight. We'll see if we can get some tailor or whatever. But I mean, I'm just enjoying the afternoon. I'm on Seven Mile Beach, and it's a lovely beach. It's got gutters all up and down here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just relax and enjoy the afternoon. So sit back and uh, enjoy it with me. Alright guys, we're on. As soon as I cut it out there, it smashed it. So it feels like a tailor. It's shaking around all over the place. Feels like a decent one too. There he is. You can see him in the surf. He's right here in the wash. Here he is. Okay, I'll christen this rod. There you go, that's the rod. Got it upside down there. I uh, refurbished. That's a West End Sport and Tackle rod. And I christened it with a tailor. I'll show you. And get it up here. Now this tailor is a good tailor. That's a nice looking tailor. I'd say the camera doesn't do it justice, but uh, I haven't got anything to measure him up with. That's a nice tail. Well, the sun's going down now. I've got my first fish. I think it's maybe half hour into it. And, um, yeah, all's good. The wind stayed calm, and, and we'll see what happens after dark. Usually the tail will come on after dark. So I'll wait till then. So that was a good sized tail of that. Anyway, we'll see what happens after dark. Ah, what a wonderful afternoon. Summer's gone. You can tell it's just not humid anymore and it's starting to get a bit chilly. We've well, got the moon coming up. I'll turn this camera on so I can show you. See if it'll pick it up. It's right where the rod is over there. I'll zoom in. It's going to be a lovely night.
a bit chilly, but it's going to be lovely. One thing I don't like when fishing off the beach is uh, when the wind's coming from head on. I mean, that spoils it. You've got to keep on wiping the camera lenses all the time. Salt, the salt mist comes off the waves and the surf and yeah, it's not uh, too good for casting either. Days like this is perfect. This rod casts so well. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's a, it's a beautiful blank, beautiful rod. I'm glad I come across it and I had a chance to refurbish it. Okay. I was just sitting back there and uh, away goes the rod. Not fighting like the last one. As long as it's not a shovel, no shark. We'll soon find out what it is. Feels like a shovel nose. Yeah, it sure is. shovel nose yeah definitely going back okay what's going on here surprise surprise There's something making yeah, I'm sure you're on the shovel lines. Dude, it'd be nice to catch something that's not a shovel nose, something different. Surprise, surprise. There's got to be something else out there besides shoveling those sharks. Would you think there would be? Be nice to have a cup of tea, a thermos, a cup of tea. Oh, oh, that's a tailor. That's got to be a tailor. Oh, you mongrel. He smashed it. I've seen the way he bit. And that was really close, too.
whatever it is, has taken drag. Oh, come on, it's come off. Oh, that was big. Whatever it was, it was big. It's just cut me off. Ah, oh, what a shame. That was a big fish. Yeah, that's a banjo shark. It's got all the bands across it. It's a pretty looking thing. One here, it feels like a tail. I changed my rig, I put a pattern oster rig on. Yeah, tailor. Yeah, good size tailor. Grab that one. I'll show you my rig, and um, the other rig that I had was no good. But this one here, I put a float on. Yep, a float and a sinker. All right, I'll just show you my rig. It's near and high tide. Tide's coming up real quick. It's about about eight o'clock now. All right. First of all, we've got a sw uh, three-way swivel. I'll point the camera to it. Might all three-way swivel. Then I have a set of gang hooks with a keeper hook as well. set of gang hooks there and on top of that I have a float that's just a piece of cork I painted white and the line's going straight through it I've got two um, stoppers on either side of the cork and uh, just an old pattern also rig down to the sinker here and that's what I'm using today because the other way there was just too many shovel nose sharks so at least this this system here it lifts the bait up off the off the sand and you have more chance of getting the tailor and it worked gee you got to reel up real quick when they're coming towards you or else I'll just shake those hooks out if they're not in properly. See like that. They come in with the wave. That's a good fish. You can feel it. I love this rod. Excellent rod. Got a good bend to it. There he is. Oh that's a nice tailor. That's a nice tailor. It's a good fish. I knew he was good because you could feel him. That's a heavy fish. And he was not going anywhere. This guy. Three hooks in him. 
I'll give you a good look at him. And I can get this hook out. That's a good fish. Nice one. want the high tide coming up and uh, that's what it's doing now that's why the fish are on the bite yeah this uh, this float system works great if you guys are fishing off the beach try that I've had an nice rig that's right cast that out and um, no sooner as I walk them back to put the rod in the holder they bit so they're out there they're out there big time look at that no bait that was a good hit too goes to show if, if you, it's not working for you one way try rigging up another way because I was just getting shovel nose sharks all the time and this way here I'd lose the tail all right we're on Feels like a decent one. I think they're all pretty good. It didn't take long before it bit, say one minute after I cast. Oh mate, this is so much fun. There's another one. Woohoo! There's another one. <sighs> nice fish. They're all good fish. All right, let's see how long it takes before I get a bite after I cast. Tide's coming up. Oh, got one. Oh, jeez. That didn't take long. Oh, God. <laughs> as soon as I cast it out there. Oh, my gosh. This is great. And this one's a decent one, too. This one's good. I don't think the other camera's capturing all this. It's been night time. It's hard to film at night. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. As I know I am. There he is. There he is. Another good tailor. Keep a hook got him on the back of the, the head. Ain't that good fish. They're not mucking around either. They're taking that, that bait. There we go, another good one.
not waiting long before a bite. As you've seen just then, as soon as I cast it out, I got a fish. Keep a hook just goes. I just turn it around twice around the line there. That one's size busted off. So I just put in the hard part of the head there. Done. Ah, oh, this is so enjoyable. If you guys aren't doing something like this, mate, they're crazy. A good cast. Okay, we've got another one. They fight well, don't they? Trying to shake those those hooks out of their gob. when it's on the beach, they use the waves to their advantage. This guy's up here on the sand now. That's another good one. I wouldn't be catching these if I didn't change to that flight system in the Paternosseri. Just smashing the pillies. And some jumping out there. Whoa, tide's coming up. Ah, oh, my bag got wet. Damn. That was a big wave, that one. I still got him on. <laughs> oh, jeez. Halfway up the beach. I haven't got any camera gear in the bag, so that's all right. Now drop me box. Fish is still on, by the way. We. Oh, damn it. All right, got that. There's one thong. And here's the other. All right, where's this fish? Halfway up the beach, here he is. Uh, that was a big wave, that one. All these fish are going in the smoker. I'll make another video and show you how I do that. They turn out beautiful. Oh, don't tell me he got off. He got off. Yeah, he got off. Oh my gosh, that was a big fish. <laughs> that was a big fish. Oh, adrenaline is pumping. This is what you come out here for. I mean, I don't mind sitting back enjoying the scenery, but once in a while, I don't mind the blood brushing. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that was a big fish. It's a shame he got off. That's a big fish. Another one. They've slowed up a little bit now, but um, they're still out there, but not as thick as what they were before. Let's 
coming up with a way. Yeah, another nice tailor. They're all good tailor. Definitely good tailor. <clears throat> well, that's what I ended up with, guys. Eight tailor. Good size, too. Quite happy with the, the way the rod is, and, um, and I'm glad I changed to uh, that float and the gand hooks. You can see it there. That's what made all the difference. I got away from the shovel nose sharks because uh, the float brought the bait up. And uh, yeah, that's the result. And I might slab him up. Put him on. Yeah, I'll slab him up and uh, see if there's any dew out there. Well, that's what I put on. I slab the tail. See what we've come away with. Alright guys, I've got something on that slab of tailor and he's taking me up the beach. He's taking drag. And away he goes. Might be a good Jew. Yeah, oh no. Nice. Got 30 pound braid on 40 pound leader. Good fish. All I can do is just just tire him out. What a way to christen this uh, this rod properly. He's a good fish. I hope it's not a ray. I don't think it is. I can feel the, can feel the head shakes. Fish. <sighs> Holy moly. Oh, adrenaline pumping. I've got to get you to have a good look at this boy. Oh, oh, look at the size of this thing. Oh, I'm puffed out. Oh my gosh. What a. What a fish. What a fish. I'm going to catch my breath. I thought that um, using a bit of tailor might come away with the Jew. I was hoping. And there it is. That's about a metre due or more. 
That's huge. I haven't bought anything to measure him up. But what a what a good specimen that is. Well, I just can't begin to tell you how stoked I am. That was a that's a good fish. Have a look at it. That's the fish there. What a beautiful looking specimen. It's a Mulloway. I caught him on the Sedona 4000, which is covered in sand now, which I won't be using until I give it a thorough washing, but that's that'll do me for tonight. But what a beautiful looking fish. And that was caught on a strip, as you've seen, a strip of uh, Taylor. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, think about doing so. And uh, thank you for watching guys. It's been a great, great night catching Taylor and Jewfish. Oh, I love beach fishing. Anyway guys, I will see you in my next video if I don't see you out there in this wonderful world of fishing. Take care, till then.